the first one I think of all was Gene Krupa. And Gene Krupa, can, can I play a little bit? Of Just course. Gene Krupa doing this, <laughs> however he did it, spoke to me. Just that sound, like, <laughs> ah, you know, I was in the eighth grade or seventh grade and heard that sound. Whoa! So I loved Gene Krupa. I thought there was great emotion and feeling, feeling in his playing. So that's kind of the foundation. But Interesting because yeah. you're mentioning a lot of jazz drummers who some of the viewers might not be that aware of, especially the younger, the younger drummers, um, who you should all be aware of, by the way. And I've already preached to you enough about the importance of learning how to play jazz. But forget about the music jazz because what we're talking about is the influence of what you learned from listening to these jazz drummers, not only being able to improvise, but being able to flow and feel really free about what they play. Chad Smith has everything that you talked about in the last two days in his playing. Uh, mm -hmm. He certainly plays in a different style. He plays with the Red Hot Chili Peppers, yes. but everything is coming through him. Right. Uh, he feels right. it at the time. Uh, and you mentioned a little earlier today, you know, if, if the difference between playing stiff and playing loose, uh, how would you explain that to, to the young students watching? Well, you want to build into your daily practice a, a way of playing that comes from relaxation. You may have to tense up a bit, of course. You're, you're not doing a perfect exercise. You're playing drums. But you want to build something wh where you're re relaxed and you play a stroke and you relax after it. So that's like your ground level. And then if you're going to do things where you like that, okay, fine, but I can return to that. But if, you, if everything is this, uh, maybe you can do that relaxed, but, uh, and, but if you can't do that relaxed, what you really want to do is practice in a way that includes the relaxation. So that's always your starting point. That's your ground. 